Hello Gemini, welcome back to the Lynx Tarot. This is Monica and this reading is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I have to start out with showing you this card right away because as I was shuffling to do your reading, this card popped out twice. So I took that as a message to add this to this reading. So you got the High Priestess and what I was thinking Gemini is that your intuition is a lot stronger than you pay attention to. I want to word it that way. I think that you just don't want to pay attention to intuitive messages that you're getting a lot of the time because you're very, very busy and you're excited and doing things and, um, you know, moving around one topic to the next, you know, whatever you're doing with your day. But your intuition is really trying to guide you toward important things. Some things fun and exciting and some things might be like cautions. So this is to remind you to listen to your intuition, take time to do that. And also, um, I'm getting a very peaceful vibe, Gemini. So I feel like, like fun and peace. So maybe a time out to do something fun. Maybe there's a new hobby you're interested in that's very grounding. Uh, maybe you should go with that. If something popped into your head that you've never done before or something that you'd like to get back to, maybe that's something to look into. Some of you may want to get into metaphysics or something that you don't really think um, is typical of you, but you've been interested, but you never did much with it. So maybe you're interested in the tarot or dream interpretation or you know anything like along those lines um go for it you know there's always something new to learn which is you know something to be admired about gemini gemini's i know like to go for it to learn new things all the time i'm also feeling like a gemini <clears throat> listening might be saying no like i might be a gemini but i am introverted and that's great that's great. There are many introverts, you know, all different kinds of personality types. If you're a Gemini, it doesn't mean you're always like, you know, active and, you know, out there and socializing. Not necessarily. I mean, you could be a more introverted Gemini. Um, so if this part of the message pertains to you, um, yeah, um, same message though. Like, do what feels right. Listen to your intuition more. You like to read a lot maybe you're getting some kind of spiritual messages from something that you're reading it may not be about spirituality but something's really jumping out at you like maybe you're reading about someone who does something that sounds fun to you it doesn't have to stay in that storybook you can go out there and give it a try or research it more learn about it more so i thought that was a pretty deep message that wanted to come through there for you gemini so there's a little bonus from the start. All these decks have been shuffled, just so you know. This reading covers the next 30 days, and we're gonna get some money oracle messages at the end. Okay, so for your intuitive life coaching oracle card, you have core values and 15. If you like numerology, numerology look up 15. That breaks down to six. Follow your heart and make your values a priority. Yeah, so whatever your personality type is make your values a priority, okay? You don't always have to be out there and talking about what your values are. Know what they are inside of you and live your life that way based on prioritizing those values. Okay, great. So let's go over to Everyday Witch. Like I said, these are pre-shuffled. Just trying this different this time. So I'm gonna lay all the cards out, then I'll read them. Okay, so we have the Seven of Cups. Yeah, lots of different things, different thoughts, ideas. Ten of Cups, beautiful, so lots of love. Maybe you have some ideas to share with someone important to you. Ten of Swords, getting to the end of a difficult era or dif difficult situation. Three of Swords, oh, the Sun. Sorry about that, the Tower. Okay, I like this. Okay, so let's go over to the Halloween deck and get a couple more cards here. What else for Gemini? The Six of Pentacles, nice, Seven of Cups again. Awesome, so you have the Seven of Cups twice. So that's reinforcing that message of many choices, time to make some kind of decision. There's beautiful, exciting, fun things. Like you can do one thing now and try the other thing later. It's not like you're gonna lose out on all of your other ideas. And we have the Ace of Cups here. So let's start here with the first Seven of Cups. 
and the Three of Wands. So you're going to see results. Whatever you choose to do, you're going to see results and you're going to learn from this and gain some kind of satisfaction. Okay, it's just going to be like, um, I was going to say something like another thing for your resume or something like that, but not necessarily. I don't really mean it that way. It doesn't have to be. This is just another experience that you add to your life's journey that you keep building on and building on, which is very beautiful. Um, you're gonna see results, whatever you choose to do, and you don't have to give up all of these other ideas. Just it's time to pick one, okay? I feel like someone's waiting for you to, like someone's waiting for you to decide about something, like if you want to, you know, try some new endeavor or business project or something like that, they're waiting for an answer. And I feel like there's a big project like it's a big thing, so maybe you're hesitant because this, this thing is going to take some time before you can go on to some other things that you're interested in learning. And we have the Six of Pentacles from the Halloween deck. So again, this is, you know, seeing results, receiving, receiving payments. So for a lot of you, this could have to do with your career or a side gig or something like that. And you could be just starting to receive some royalties or... Um, you know, payments for, you know, creative things that you are selling, something like that. And also, like, um, I'm thinking more, like, for some of you, there could be a course that you're teaching. Okay, you're putting together a course. Um, for some of you, um, I'm feeling like there's a continuing education course that you are being, um, like, qualified or certified to do so that students of, of whatever, whatever nature this is, can take your course and then you can certify them um, as, you know, having continuing education credits in something. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So maybe there's some teachers out there, um, you know, in one form or another. Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups. Sorry, I just bumped the light. The Ten of Cups with the Sun. So this is good health, prosperity, happiness, feeling rejuvenated, good health for you, family members, loved ones, your pets, okay? So if you need medical attention, just always keep in mind tarot readings are not that. That's your responsibility and up to you to get the medical attention you need if you feel that you need it. Um, but this is about you know abundance and joy in every way and enjoying this with others and feeling very full, satisfied, and growing, progressing, and that's what I was getting with the Seven of Cups in the beginning when I was talking about, you know, or, or was it the High Priestess? I can't, I can't remember, sorry. But I was saying about like learning something that you carry forward with you. So like there's birth to new things constantly and you carry these experiences with you and you acknowledge them and appreciate them, which is really awesome. So here we have the Seven of Cups again from the Halloween deck. I just want you to see the imagery here because it's really cute. So you're like, you know, which piece of candy do I want? You know, like I'm picturing like Halloween and, you know, which I mean, I'm only allowed to have a certain number of pieces of candy. You know what I mean? Like some parents tell their kids like you can only have a certain a certain number of pieces of candy because they have a big giant pumpkin or bucket of candy from trick-or-treating or whatever. You don't want them, the parents don't want them to like dig in there and eat it all and get sick or whatever. So that's kind of a good metaphor. Like you don't want to jump into everything at once and not really gain as richly as you could from each individual thing if you go grabbing at everything all at once okay so it's okay to like learn different things at the same time but try and focus on each thing and then put one thing aside and focus on the other thing so if you're studying different things for example or if you have different projects if you're learning how to like draw or paint or sing or whatever piece by piece take this piece by piece yeah, because you don't um, want to miss out on opportunities. Okay, and this says, This Halloween, I'd like to brew a thrilling, chilling scare for you. So I think that's cute. There's some excitement going on here. Things to be excited about. Maybe it's hard to contain your excitement. 
Okay, so we have the Ten of Swords and the Tower. So there's a breakthrough here um, in, in a good way. Like you expected this, you knew this would happen. There's relief. You're really done and over with something. Your relief It's something that's been, re you're relieved and it's something that has been very, very hard for you. But anyone who has tried to drag you down or hurt you, they're not getting away with it. This is person here is running away like a thief in the night but you're getting up. Those swords are actually healing you. The swords that stab you on the back and once hurt you are now being pulled away from you by spirit and you have your strength. You have your strength, your vitality. Um, you've made this decision in your life to continue on despite what happened, like someone else trying to hold you back, harm you, or um, you know, defame you in some way. You're getting ready to you know, pick up that broom you're like I'm done, and see the witch is the witch's face on this card, which I really love. She's very smug. She's like, go right ahead, you know, destroy yourself. You're not going to destroy me. You're not going to bring me down with you. I have my life, and you're just stepping back. You have disengaged from something that was not good, that was unfair to you, that wasn't right. You've disengaged from it, and now you're just like, whatever, you know, you live your life, I have my life. I'm not thinking about you anymore, whoever this person is. It could be anyone, really. It could be an ex. It could be an ex-co-worker. It could be an ex-friend. It could even be a family member, but you're just like, no, I'm not involved in this anymore. I have a lot of beautiful things in my life. I am not letting you take me down with you. Okay, and here we have the Ace of Cups because there's all of this joy and abundance for you. You're being blessed in many ways with love, money, comforts, exciting things, exciting events in your life, exciting experiences, and the moon peeking out right here. Like I'm look, I'm seeing that right now as like an angel peeking over your shoulder, saying, "Good job, Gemini. Good job." not letting anything hold you down or tear you down. All right, let's go over to the Money and Career Oracle deck. Okay, here we have, ooh, work hard in silence. Yeah, so maybe there's some need for focus and maybe not as much socializing as some of you may be used to. Um, invitations are nice, but it doesn't mean you have to always accept them and it doesn't mean that that's really the thing you wanna do right then. You know, maybe you wanted to put some time aside for yourself to, to, you know, to do something on your own, whatever that may be, whether it's working or reading or, you know, whatever it is you want. Okay, so what else do we have here? Just take what resonates because these cards have a lot of different messages. We have networker, maybe time to create or reach out to your network of people who will help you, okay? Um, consider a career in marketing, promoting sales, or any professional networking job. And it also says make the most out of the resources you have to improve your finances. Nice. Okay. And we have mechanics as someone listening, maybe a mechanic or an engineer of some sort. I'm noticing the hard hat that's jumping out at me right now. So uh, maybe the yellow, the solar plexus chakra, maybe that's something you need to focus on right now. It says mend what needs to be mending. It might be broken, but all is not lost. Okay, so like say you're the person or maybe some more than one of you. Um, someone was someone was trying to drag you down or whatever. Well, all is not lost. Like you may not you may not have that person in your life anymore. You can replace that negativity with something positive and good in your life. You're putting it back together. And this is probably just a small piece of your life, but you realized that it was taking away from the quality of the rest of your life. Um, for some of you, it says consider a career as a mechanic in automotive, aerospace, or a repair technician of some sort, like it could be with computers or anything, you have the ability to easily fix your finances, okay? And a sacrifice might be needed. Whatever this sacrifice might be, it might not really be that much skin off your back, actually. Okay, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Life purpose. Let's see what this says. Nice. And see that light bulb? Some great new ideas. You will have new ideas and inspirations that will guide you to your divine calling. Yes, yeah, so back to that first message with the high priestess. The bonus in the beginning, right? Listen to your intuition more, okay? Because you may have some new ideas and inspirations um, that pop up, you know? See what feels right. You know, what's really like sparking your interest? Um, and this 
guide you to your divine calling. What's meant for you will not leave you as long as you continue to push forward. You know, not missing out on opportunities, okay? Staying away from negativity, staying away from drama. And it says, ask for what you need and things will align for you to carry out your vision. Yeah, so don't be afraid to ask what you need. Don't be afraid to call on your guys and angels. Okay, Gemini, thank you for being here. And I am sorry if I didn't mention, this reading covers about 30 days. Um, 30 days to two months, whatever, whatever resonates with you. If you like this video, please hit that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you'd like to subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell. I will see you again soon.